and to take a little beating, I have my assistant Ashok with me. So, <laughs> without much ado, I'll start uh, the demonstration. <coughs> I'm going to be starting first with a little uh, explanation about myths of knife fighting, which is very important for many people to understand. Ashoka. I'll ask him to uh, give a thrust of knife to me and I'll tell you what generally happens, what people show, and what is the reality. Because it doesn't happen, and I'll show you the reality. Can you wear the helmet, please? The first myth about knife is never block. If the guy block, I pull the knife back, his both hands get cut. Number one. The guy at the street, he's street smart. He wants to block. I hit the face right away. There's no chance for him to block. So it's sort of a number one going to number two. So you cannot tell or talk about, hey, okay, I'm going to block the knife like this, I will do like this, and I'll try and grab the knife. Grab it. Okay, no. grab, tight. So I'm going to rip his fingers apart. He grabs from there, the knife goes here, and he hit the back to the person right away. So there is a science behind knife, how you deal with it, how you work with the knife. So I'm going to just present one drill first with sticks. These are actually not sticks, we train with long blades when I train the Indian Special Force. Which get transferred into sticks, then we transfer it to the knife. And when we do the empty hand system, we call the bladed hand. Because our hand moves like the blade, but there is no blade in the hand. Okay. Transfer into the knife. But this happens when you deal with knife. There is no chance, no time for choreographed set of movements. Now I will show you the reality. If somebody gives a thrust to you. Sometimes, it depends on the person, if he's too heavy, you can go on to joint breaking tactics. In case, depending on whichever leg is in the front, I assume if the legs, the right leg is in the front. Okay. same time so you need to check the weapon
Shu weapon, I have this small little comic show which I always do. It's called Old Man Carrying the Stick because once we go old, we don't have the power and the strength to do moves like this. So, beat the stick for one second. Take the knife. Beat the stick. You're an old guy, you have a walking stick with you. The guy's gonna come and hit you with a knife, you don't want to fight, move, hit with a knife. The same walking stick can be used. He wants to hit from any side, move. Or you hit, move. You're an old man, he wants to help you go. Keep moving. So move. Now the guy comes, put the stick here, and put the knife here. <laughs> you do the reverse hit. You don't have, you don't need power. Now, why I am emphasizing on a edge weapon training? I show you some strikes. When you do such kind of fast movements, it is very, very difficult for a person, even a trained boxer, come in. The guy gives me jab. Break his hand. He gives jab and cross. You, you punch. You break that, break that. He gives round off kick. Round off kick. You hit the guy. You break the leg. Give side kick. You break, break. You can't fight. This guy might be 40 years in pro martial arts. But if you train with this, that's the weapon. Now I will transfer this exactly in the same way how you deal with him. Knife and bladed hand. Watch this. Knife threat neutralization. Okay. That puts the knife on my back. Any movement from my side and one slash, I'm dead. Right away. All you to see from here. There are two ways you can deal with it if you're very experienced like with me. Shatter. Doesn't hurt his eyes. Okay. 
Somebody grabs your hand, and then we have 10,000 things grabbed, right? And do this, do that, nothing's gonna work in real life. Because the guy who grabs is gonna grab it and slap me right away. Boom, and I'm out. So even before he does that, you need to do something. Classical martial arts in which people clap a lot, but it's never going to work. Look at this. Please don't clap, it's useless. Just looks beautiful. Utter waste of time. Don't want that to happen. If I was the one grabbing this guy. Okay, the guy comes and grabs you from the other way. What are you going to do? Grab? Okay, you can do this. Is elbow. Nothing's going to work. The guy has the elbow come to grab you. He's not coming to grab and say, hey, do some technique. And I'll respond to it. If I'm supposed to physically assault a guy or a girl, my intention is to take her. That's not what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm going to do. As per the criminal psychology, stand there. Put that there. There is no time to do all these things. Fancy moves. It just have to be snappy. All you need to do is demonstration was that we deal with a system called 3E, easy to learn, economical emotion, effective in result. What I just did was use the eight martial arts I learned over 32 years, blended them the easiest and the quickest techniques because they are from armed forces, they are trained to kill, they are not trained to play. When you fight in ring, you have one versus one with a referee. When you go to street, it's almost four versus one with no referee. Things are different, dynamics are different. So that's the only thing I wanted to present about three. I would also like to give a big thank to Ajay Mama. He's been an elder brother and my student. Thank you so much, Ajay. Love you, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much.